Casey from Interweb Kaiju here. I got some uh, Hedra slime in my eye. But winner of the last poll, this is Godzilla vs. Hedra. Godzilla vs. Hedra, also known as Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster, is a 1971 kaiju movie from Toho Pictures. Tankers are getting destroyed, and there's footage of it happening on the news, so we already know right off the bat that it's a giant monster. It's Hedra. I like the design, we get three all good designs, tadpole, standing, and flying. Club scene is maybe the best part of the movie, dancing fish headed people, but even before that, the screen is best when skeletons, but also good when splatter. Thank Bono for letting the cat survive. Big fan of the swinging Hedra to shuffle cut, and Hedra's lightning to explosion thing going on. Nice that there's an effect from Godzilla's breath, even better that it looks cool. I dig all the people turning into skeleton stuff. Probably the most memorable part of the movie is Godzilla flying. I like it. The flying model isn't great since there's a gap between hand and tail, probably so that the Hedra can be held later on. Maybe not enough budget for two models. Either way, the whole scene and idea is silly, which is totally fine, but doesn't really mesh well with the whole seriousness of pollution killing things message. Speaking of budget, there are some brief parts with exploding miniature buildings and helicopters, but no dedicated city destruction or military retaliation scenes, and it's felt. First monster fight is in a city, but not a lot of in-shot destruction. The final battle, in normal late Showa era fashion, is a big dirt bowl. Music is a mixed bag. Club music is good, as are the Hedra Stingers, but the new theme given to Godzilla sucks. Instead of making you excited, it makes you kinda wanna fall asleep. Some fights would have benefited a lot by some accompanying music. I'm indifferent on the little cartoon parts put in. Not a fan of the Godzilla suit either. Cool that we get roller coaster POV shots, but they look like shit. The fights are not too exciting. I mean, as an action movie, Godzilla vs. Hedra doesn't really succeed, but as a science fiction movie, it does. Lots of details given about Hedra, and then, just like other sci-fi throw-in, you want aliens, Hedra's an alien now. You want Adam splitting, we have a cartoon for that. Hell, let's give Hedra flying capabilities due to atomic power. We even get this cool new military device to finish Hedra off. I'm a big fan of that kind of stuff. Godzilla vs. Hedra seems to be held pretty highly among Godzilla fans, but for me, it's middle of the bunch but still very much worth a viewing. Thanks for watching.